We begin in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where newly appointed Prime Minister Sami Badibanga has appealed for calm as protesters and security forces clash in the country's capital, Kinshasa. Speaking in Kinshasa, the Prime Minister also added that security forces would crack down on any protests in the country. This came as UN officials raised concerns that up to 20 people had been killed in the protests, which broke out after President Joseph Kabila's term expired on Monday. The opposition leader Etienne Shikisede has called on the the Congolese people to protest peacefully. Talks seeking to deflate the raging political tensions are due to resume in Kinshasa on Wednesday. The announcement of the new government of national unity marks an important stage in the effective setting up of the global political accord of the 18th of October 2016. It is also a symbol of peace, of national cohesion and of hope for the future elections and social welfare. As I prepare to take up my role as the head of this government of wide consensus, I wish to appeal for peace and tranquility throughout the Republic. The government is taking measures through the forces of law and order to ensure that the public order is strictly respected and in the respect of law and freedom for all. Let's now speak to CCTV's Clementine Logan, who's standing by with the latest details live from Kinshasa. Clem, what's the atmosphere like today in the capital, Kinshasa? Well, Panina, it's certainly a lot calmer since those protests erupted yesterday. Driving around the city this morning, a lot more shops and businesses open, people walking around, as you can probably see around me, a lot more traffic on the roads as well. But we're also getting a sense of the casualties from those protests, with reports of at least 11 people dead, uh, nine we understand here in the capital, Kinshasa, and two in the second largest city, Lubumbashi, including a policeman. Um, also, the United Nations peacekeeping force here, MINUSCO, expressing concern over reliable reports of more than a hundred arrests of opposition members and civil society activists in the past four days. Uh, the opposition UDPS leader Etienne Shisekedi maintaining his call to the Congolese people to uh, peacefully resist what he's calling an illegitimate government led by Joseph Kabila and so uh, a security presence remains uh, across the city. Clem, talks are due to resume today. What's the latest there on that? That's right. We understand talks uh, are due to resume around one o'clock local time here uh, since they were suspended on Saturday between the opposition and government when they failed to reach a conclusion. But of course, a lot has happened since then. Uh, we've already seen a new government put in place by Joseph Kabila uh, with a new prime minister, Sami Bedibanga, sworn in, as we heard there as well. Um, that followed a deal in October between the government and fringe opposition groups that essentially allows for Joseph Kabila to lead the country until elections, it says, in 2018 and not before. Of course, the uh, opposition rassemblement majority bloc outrightly rejects this plan. They want a transitional government to lead the country to elections next year. And so while both sides do say that they're willing to sit back down at the table for negotiations here in, in Kinshasa, it's quite difficult at this point to see how a political solution can be reached and, in, and indeed what kind of compromise that might look like. Back to you. All right, Clementine Logan in Kinshasa, many thanks.